good morning or afternoon or evening, whatever time it is that you find yourself tuning into this. I wanted to make a video today of just simple grounding techniques that are a part of yoga because there are a lot of people in my life that I encounter who say, oh, I'm not flexible, I can't do yoga, and they allow this perceived limitation to keep them from tapping into these incredibly simple yet potent tools to navigate through life. I use grounding techniques and pranayama exercises, which Pranayam translates to breath control. Our breath is the essence of life. It is the one thing that we always have that connects us all, that gives us life. And when we can take a second to stop and notice it, we can really change our nervous system. And when we can work with it, we kind of are able, no, not even kind of, we're able to be with the moment beyond the potential suffering of what is. So I just wanted to share with you what I do in the morning before my asana practice and those are the yoga poses, some simple grounding techniques that anyone can do as well as some pranayam techniques that can be done anywhere. I do them a lot while I'm driving, while I'm in the grocery store, especially while I'm at work because I tend to get allow myself to get worked up very easily. But when I'm able to catch myself and implement some deep breaths, some samavritis, some even breathing, I'm able to realize, okay, this is just a moment. These are just my thoughts and emotions. I can get through this. I will get through this. So to get started for the grounding exercises, you want to come to a comfortable seat, preferably on the ground. And the objective is to have your pelvis tilted slightly forward. If it's not tilted forward naturally by sitting on the ground, you're welcome to roll up a blanket and place it underneath kind of fleshy part of your bottom to achieve that forward tilt. You want to find the bones of your bottom, those are called your sits bones, and make sure that you're evenly balancing the weight of your body upon those. Find a nice straight spine in your mind's eye picture pole of energy running from the base of your spine all the way to the crown of your head, anchored to the earth and suspended by the heavens. Shoulders are relaxed, maybe roll them back a couple of times and envision that you're drawing the shoulder blades down the back, finding space between the ears and the shoulders. And then as you exhale, suck your navel into your spine, get all that air out and inhale deep into the belly. It can be helpful sometimes to put a hand here and a hand on your chest, almost guiding the breath, making space in our body for this life force. to unite us, to guide us through. Opening the chest. Stacking the chest on the top of the pelvis, shoulders on top of the pelvis, crown of the head top of the chest, creating a clear channel, and just continuing with that breath, palms are facing up, ready to receive. Take a few more deep breaths, really 
envisioning yourself sending the air all the way down to your tailbone. And now picture yourself filling up through the backs of your lungs. And on your next inhale, one to envision energy running through the spaces of our fingertips, going out in front of us and up towards the ceiling. Remembering to breathe deep, keeping that space between the shoulder blades and the ears. And on exhale, placing the left hand on the ground, the right hand, this is actually allowing me to not have to marry all. <laughs> And picturing that energy running through the left fingertips, pulling you up into the side so that we're getting a stretch in the left side. Chest is still open so we can receive. Maybe you want to look up. Making sure that you're keeping that left so it's bone on the ground so that we're opening the left side. Exhale, place the hand down, inhale. Right arm comes up, exhale, let it all out, inhale, and reach over, up and over, not just directly over, because we want, we want to create that space instead of collapsing. And if this feels like it's a bit too much for your body in this moment, which is totally understandable because we're always in different states of need with each moment. You're welcome to just do some neck, some head tilts. So keeping that space of the chest stacked on top of the pelvis, shoulders on top of the hips, we're going to allow our ear to fall, right ear falling to the right shoulder. Remembering to breathe deeply. And then you next inhale, come back to center. Exhale, taking the left ear to the left shoulder. And you can do this, not just sitting down. Now we're just going to do some neck circles. Start out clockwise. Like we're drawing the circle on the ceiling with our head. Now I'll switch to counterclockwise. And then I guess that we'll go into just a simple form of pranayam called samavriti, which translates to even breath, well, essentially translates to even breath. I'm still learning the infinite realms of Sanskrit, which I don't think I'll ever fully know. But anyway, so we're going to inhale. First, take an exhale, clear all that breath out. Then we're going to inhale. Three counts and exhale for three counts. Inhale for three counts. Exhale for three counts. Keeping the spine nice and straight. Shoulders relaxed. Awareness of when you're inhaling. Awareness of the exhale. And cool air come in. Warm air come out. Chest is open so we can allow the love of this life force to come in and change us and make us one. 
with where we are. If you would like to put a hand on your belly. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. One, 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 two, three. Then if you'd like to extend the count, you're welcome to do that. If you're just starting out and you maybe want to do inhaling for two counts and exhaling for two counts, that's fine too. Just make sure that the breath is going down all the way into the diaphragm. We want to avoid chest breathing because that sends our body into panic mode. Then another way that you can do Sama Vritti breath or extend it, this is actually a different pranayama exercise. You can hold the breath in between. So inhaling for three counts, holding for three counts, and exhaling for three counts. Inhaling for three, holding for three, exhaling for three. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Sitting with that stillness of the air in the lungs. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Holding. One, two, three. Releasing. Hold for three. And these are just some simple ways that you can ground yourself and calm yourself down throughout the situations that arise in our lives causing pain. There's never going to be a way to avoid pain, but what we do with the pain really makes the difference between suffering and transcending, learning from the situation and our breath is a great tool for the school of life so i hope that this was helpful for you and if you would like to learn more about pranayama there are infinite sources on the internet so hopefully this can be something you remember during a difficult moment light within me honors and recognizes the light within you namaste